Hey everybody, my name is Becky and I welcome you to my muscle function video series. Today I'm going to be going over the pronator quadratus muscle. I will go over the location which includes the starting point which is called the origin, the ending point which is called the insertion, followed by its function, and then finally providing you an exercise so we know how to strengthen this muscle. So to start off, I'm going to go over the location so we know exactly what we're talking about. I'll also provide you a picture so you are for sure where this muscle is and then we'll build on from there with the functions and then the exercises. So the origin of the pronator quadratus muscle starts, okay, so this would be the starting point on the distal fourth of the anterior surface of the ulna, okay, and then inserts, which is the ending point on the distal fourth of the anterior surface of the radius, okay? So whenever we talk about the anterior surface of uh, an arm bone, uh, we go back to the anatomical position, which is palms facing out, okay? So this would be the anterior surface of the arm, okay? So as far as where the radius and where the ulna is, the ulna is closer to the midline, okay, and then the radius is on the outside or the thumb side of the arm, okay. So again, the origin or the starting point of the pronator quadratus muscle is the distal fourth of the anterior surface of the ulna, okay. So now that is actually closer down here to the wrist, okay. So it's the distal fourth of the anterior surface of the ulna, okay, so it lies right in here. Okay, and then inserts right across on the distal fourth on the anterior surface of the radius, right in here. Okay, so it's pretty much almost like a strap. It just goes from point A over to point B. Okay, so, so that you know exactly where I'm talking about, I'm going to go ahead and insert a picture of where the pronator quadratus is right here for you. Okay, so now that you know the exact location of the pronator quadratus muscle, we're going to move on to its function, and then I'll give you an exercise. So the function of the pronator quadratus muscle is to do pretty much exactly what the name says, is to pronate the forearm, okay? So pronation would be uh, palm facing down, supination is palm facing up, kind of think of trying to hold a bowl of soup. If you can't hold the, the bottle of soup, um, unfortunately, that is not supination, that is pronation. So if you can hold soup in your hand, that is supination, okay? So supination, pronation, okay? So its, its function is to pronate the forearm, okay? And this muscles used in a lot of uh, your daily tasks or exercises that you may do, um, such as if you would do a tricep extension over the head, okay, as you do your tricep extension, you're actually pronating the hands to rotate them so your arms, you know, to finish the exercise. So if you were to hold a dumbbell, okay, and have your elbows back, you would actually see your palms face up, okay? This also happens uh, when a pitcher in baseball throws a screwball, okay? So um, another one is, is if you were to use a screwdriver and you would be, you know, screwing in a screw or you know, anything. So if you're pushing and screwing the screwdriver, you're using that pronator quadratus muscle. Okay, so now that we know the function of this muscle and some daily tasks that we know where we use this muscle, now we can move to an exercise. So the exercise example that I'm going to provide you is one, uh, is just going to be a weighted movement of 
the pronator quadratus. So it's basically, if you were to take your hand, hold a weight in your hand, and you would just simply pronate your arm, that is basically going to be the movement. So I'm going to go ahead and insert that example for you right here. So thank you for watching the entire video everybody. I do appreciate it. If you learned something, hit the like button. Pass it on with a share to a friend that may learn something as well or may find use to this video. Please stay tuned for next week's Muscle Functions video. If you haven't seen any other ones, please check out my YouTube channel, Becky Fiddler, and you will be able to see all the rest of my Muscle function videos. So I shall see you all next week. Have a great week, guys.